I, Joseph Maestas, have you been elected to the office? Have you been elected to the office of Councilor District 2? Of Councilor District 2. Of the City of Santa Fe? Of the City of Santa Fe. State of New Mexico. State of New Mexico. To solemnly swear. To solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. The Constitution and laws. The Constitution and laws. The State of New Mexico. Of the State of New Mexico. And the ordinances of the City of Santa Fe. The ordinances of the city of San Fe and faithfully and impartially and faithfully and impartially discharge the duties discharge the duties of said office of said office to the best of my ability to so help me God. Joseph Lassens, I'm Joseph's son, how do you say it? Uh, this is my grandmother and my aunt. Y'all yeah, should come up and introduce yourself. <laughs> Since we've got a little bit of time while they're sliding, why not? Okay. I'm on oxygen. <laughs> now it's my turn, no, I'm calling my Okay, we've got the fire department out here, not to worry. This is my mom, Josephine Maestas, and I'm uh, Joseph's sister, Kathy. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> and now we'll hear from Councilor Maestas. You know, it's not every day that you're sworn into office by your spouse. I mean, is that incredible? We both almost lost it. You know, I really, true, truly stand before you humbled that um, the people of District 2 would bestow their trust upon me to represent them on this fantastic governing body. And uh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to this um, with great anticipation. And, you know, I have to recognize you know, no one can do this alone. We all know what campaigns are about, and it's not about individual efforts by any means. And uh, I want to thank all my volunteers that helped so much, those endorsing organizations that believed in me as a person and my message and my work ethic, uh, my campaign team, uh, Nettie O'Dean, just raise your hand, Nettie O'Dean, Frank Murray, I mean folks, these folks are the best in the business. Look, we all know that people take sides in elections, but once the election is over, it's time for the elected officials to govern, and it's time for all of us to look forward together. And I'm so excited, uh, and I, I am so motivated to earn the trust of those folks that maybe did not vote for me, and if I have to prove myself to you, I will. I'll work hard, and I'll earn your trust and your support, but you have to be with us. With this great governing body, this dynamic new mayor, is he dynamic or what? <laughs> so, um, I have a question for you. Are you ready to move Santa Fe forward with us? Are you ready to work hard for us? I've already had several meetings. I've had a meeting with, with Mayor Gonzalez, and we agree that it's time to continue this dialogue that we started during this campaign. I can't tell you. How many voters said, yeah, we'll see you now, and then once you get elected, you're never gonna come over again. <laughs> and so, we're gonna totally shatter that paradigm of elections. And so, I know Mayor Gonzalez and other city councilors are truly committed to carrying on this dialogue, and, and who knows if we can maybe even think and imagine that perhaps a city council action could be the very end of that dialogue with the community and a formality instead of the other way around, of having you all react to a decision that the governing body makes. So if we can all have 
a, a vision for that, for true, constant, progressive civic engagement, there's, I mean, I think the future is bright for the city of Santa Fe. And I want to do my small part to help make this community the best place to live, work, and raise a family. Thank you so much.